Uh, <laughs> you said you were on Codaphone? I don't know what yeah. that is. Uh, that's where they, you know, I call in and see if they call my number to go get tested. Oh, that, uh, that ended today. Today, I talked to my uh, my probation officer. She called me and said, um, "Go get tested one more time." Um, and I was and I, and today, actually, the guy who tests me, like like the P guy, was off today. So I go next Tuesday or something like that. That'll be the last time I get tested, uh, like like on a regimen or or via calling into that number. From now on, she'll just occasionally call me and be like, "Hey." Go get tested today, but it'll be like super random and super like far in, can I times tell, in between. Can I tell an awesome probation P test story? Do it. Okay, so I had this probation where I had to go on the first and the fifth, right? And usually, uh, I would go there and you go to the computer and it would be like big, big letters like piss test, piss test. I'm like, okay, I take a piss. Test. And I started noticing that it would always happen on the fifteenth. So I w it would never happen on the first. It's always on the fifteenth. So I got a little dangerous and was like, I miss weed like crazy. I would have, I would go take a piss, and then I would have a crazy weekend of so much weed, super high, and then I'd <laughs> shut it off, and it would be out of my system by the time the, the next piss, the next one came up. It probably would have been out of my system by the time if it if it came fifteen days. So I kind of used that system mm -hmm. to smoke weed every once in a while. And every time I went to a probation, there was this kid there. When I say kid, he was a couple years younger than me, right? like 22, 23. And um, he's in there and he's sweating bullets and shaking. I'm like, dude, what is wrong? He's like, let's go. So we go outside and he's like, I do the thing where I, I, I smoke like three, you know, a weekend and then don't um, because I know I don't have to take a piss test. And I, I smoked all. All this weekend and the machine's saying that i got a p today and i was like that sucks dude <laughs> he's like how do we how do we how do we figure it out and i'm like well you're gonna need some clean piss and so he's like he's like oh shit okay and he looks over and there's because we're outside he looks over there's this dude at a bus stop wearing wearing a fucking like like motley crew t and he's Not like that guy <laughs> <laughs> well he pre-screened him he pre-screened he goes <laughs> give him a hey, man, pat down Hey man, I'm in a real bar. Do you smoke weed? He's like, I haven't smoked weed since '76 at a Rush concert. Like, I, I don't smoke weed at all. Haven't in years. And he's like, perfect. Listen, <laughs> I, I need to take a drug test. You think you can help? He's like, I got you, brother. And so he pulls out <laughs> out of his fucking little sack um, a Jack Daniels fucking airplane shooter glass thing, right? Like the shit you take on the airplane. He goes around the corner. Somehow pees in this thing without getting it wet and comes <laughs> back. Because how do you how do you fit like your dick hole in a little shoe glass? You just put your whole that's penis like, in. Yours doesn't fit? Yeah. That's what I do this with a Pepsi can. This wasn't this guy's first time pissing into a small Jack Daniels bottle. A, a well, he had empty Jack Daniels bottle, so apparently that's his business. I don't know. But <laughs> he brings it back and then he goes, 20 bucks. He's like, what? And I'm like, dude, 20 bucks? Free 20 bucks he's like fine yeah. so he like, gives him <laughs> takes this and i'm like all right dude put that like by your nuts and you know that the dude's gonna be in the fucking room with you right mm -hmm. and i'm like have you ever failed the piss test he's like no he's like okay you might be okay just be fucking very careful so we go <laughs> in there he goes in there he comes out all smiling happy hey bye i don't see this dude for like four months right mm. When I do see him, this dude walks in and he looks like Tom Hanks from Castaway, dude. <laughs> hasn't, cut his hair, hasn't cut his beard, just looks like he hasn't, hasn't slept in two days, just looks like sh And I'm like, dude, what the fuck happened? All I know is if I ever fucking see that old man, I'm kicking his ass. I'm like, why? <laughs> he goes, there's no marijuana in his system, dude, but he had methamphetamine, heroin. And like named every drug <laughs> in the book was in this dude's piss besides weed, right? <laughs> so they fucking arrested this dude and made him go to drug and alcohol classes. So his op no, 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 no. I'm just a pothead that faked a piss test. Or he <laughs> said so he had to sit in a fucking in like these like six hour meetings with drug addicts when he wasn't a drug drug addict he just had to fucking be like yeah i love heroin yeah you know what i mean like he just had to go along with it. 
So he had Man. to do the rest of his jail time, and now he has to do like drug and alcohol classes just because of the fuck. shit. It's fucked up. Fuck All because up. he trusted a guy at a bus station with a Motley Crew shirt on. Right. right. I was with Kyle right out of right out of the gate. Not that Not guy. That guy. <laughs> Not that guy. You want to? I want to. I want to pick that guy either. But this dude was desperate. This yeah. dude was like, and why didn't you piss for him? That seemed the logical conclusion. My shit was dirty. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> my shit was dirty. <laughs> you but were it was gonna fail first, too? so you didn't expect the P test. That's the that's I, why it was dirty. I, I, my, my P test didn't come up. Yeah. You want to hear another fucked up thing? So my yeah. probation, my probation was for eighteen to thirty six months. Right? So around sixteen months, I go. Um, first off, it was really weird. Real my quick, probation. How long ago was this? This is early two thousands. Okay. Long time ago, and um. My probation officer was this big buck, looked like Duke Nukem dude, right? Like, I wouldn't want to fuck with him. But his name was Kim. And I'm like, how are you going to be a big fucking Duke Nukem looking dude? Your name's Kim, but I'm not going to question. I'm like, Kim, listen, haven't missed a payment, haven't fucking violated, come to everything. Can I get off at 18 months? He's like, yeah, that's not a problem. Like, your model fucking, you know. Uh, whatever it's called um yeah when it comes up i'll put in the paperwork you you'll you'll be off probation in 18 months right 17 and a half months comes up and i'm at the thing i'm like hey dude so next next time i visit you're gonna have that paperwork in i'm gonna be free right he's like a little bit of a problem i'm like what they go well we let this guy off probation early and then he went on a drug binge and killed a cop Mm. so now they're saying now they're saying that if we would have never let him off probation early, he would have been fine because he was fine on probation. So now everyone does their full max. So I, oh. I had to do thirty. I had to do another eighteen months of fucking coming in and checking in. You know. Yeah, ever- I've got twenty four months, sucks. and uh, I in in like I don't know what it is six months or something like that. That mm-hmm. uh, I'll be halfway, and at fifty percent, I can ask the court to like consider yeah. my situation and you know with my fines i just paid them all like one lump sum like the is the the moment i could they were yeah, all yeah, like yeah. they were a lot they were all like so uh you just want to send your payments in every month and i'm like no i just wrote a check and they're like all of it i'm like I'm like yeah like, how i, I don't like, i just I don't wrote like, the check like what are you talking yeah, about it wasn't a million dollars i don't like seeing the notification saying that i fucking paid for another month of netflix so if there was a, a fee i could pay for like lifetime netflix i'd do it. so i would yeah they should do like, that they, they should like the nra right two grand just pay it all up front or they could fuck it up like what were the airlines who were like hey five grand all-time <laughs> tickets in like the mid 80s and then people like took advantage of that grand, though, but... 500 grand or something yeah. and they're still so, making money on it but yeah i i paid all my fines uh like like up front i've never missed a piss test of course i've never tested positive for anything like like i went to all my fucking counseling all my goddamn meetings uh you know i've been straight with my officers i've, I've driven around and like they've all met me i've had three now and i'm hoping that like when i ask after 50 percent of my uh probation is 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 through they'll let if, me, if you let if you got away. all your ducks in a row they'll look at you as they'll look at you as that guy that just got in trouble it's not a fucking criminal. That's the way they look at it. So they know. They'll, they'll well, you that's pay. exactly what I am. You know, like, yeah. like, like I wasn't selling dope. I was smoking dope. You know? Yeah, exactly. I, was, was, I, just, I just like Taco Bell a whole lot, man. You, you don't understand. <laughs> that's all this is about. 